Howdy. Welcome back to the Kitchens Community Top 10 Plays of the Week, hosted by Shay Underwood. This is the number one clip from last week. We have Alex from Australia sliding in to first place. But is it better than the number one clip from this week? We'll let you decide. If you have a clip, send it into the kitchen highlights at gmail.com and check the description for more details on how to submit your highlights. At number 10, we have Chaz Howard from Queens Creek, Arizona, playing at the beautiful pickleball facility in Newport Beach. Chaz may have been a gymnast because he jumps up, does a split in the air, and resets the ball before taking over and winning the point. His partner gets the crowd hyped, and Chaz has no idea what possessed him to do that. But they may have a future in synchronized diving. Check this out. <laughs> so good. At number 9, we have a clip submitted to us by Martin from Hong Kong, making his second appearance in our top 10 plays. Martin hits a beautiful drop from transition to let his opponent set him up for a sliced ATP right into the corner. Perfect shot. At number 8 is a clip sent into us by John from Dallas, Texas. A beautiful display of defense here by Nicole and Mario on the far side of the court. Eventually, Nicole's going to hit a ball that barely dribbles over the net court, gets taken out wide and hits a lovely two-handed backhand ATP for the winner. Taking home the number 7 spot is Kareem DeWood from Flemington, New Jersey saying, I see your ATPs, and I'm going to raise you one better. Kareem dinks it cross court, gets a dink back, and then hits the most brilliant backhanded ATP that you will ever see. Claiming the number six spot this week is Drew Custer from Quincy, Illinois. Drew hits a spin serve and then drives the return back. Where you going, Drew? Oh, the 360 pancake no looker behind the back. That makes a whole lot of sense. And if that one wasn't clean enough for you, Drew hits the exact same shot down the line that lands in balance for a winner. Or did it? Let us know what you think. At number 5 is Matthew Navarra playing at the PPA Tour Stop in San Clemente. We've got a dink battle going on here, lovely display of control before Matthew hits one cross court and then finally sees his opportunity and hops the corner for a beautiful Ernie. At number 4 is a clip sent into us by Fu Ye from Pick Ninja Sports. They have the bird's eye view overlooking this lovely court. Closest to us is Jason and Jonathan elegantly defending a ferocious attack from Anik and Fouye. But their defenses can't last forever as a ball gets reset a little bit too high that results in a pop-up that sets up a disgustingly sharp angled Ernie. Patrick McGinnis takes home the number 3 spot this week with his second appearance in our top 10 plays. Patrick defends the speed up with a behind the back finds a short corner past his opponent. Man, that was ridiculous. And then our camera too, yo. Oh my God. <laughs> the number two spot this week goes to a group out of Willard, Ohio. We have Bryson and Brian on the far side of the court playing against Billy and Jen on the near court. This point goes on for so long. There were 56 hits total in this rally and some immaculate defense on display from both sides. Awesome point, even had a tweener in there, and then the paddle dropped out of pure exhaustion to wrap it up. Thanks for sending in the clip. And finally, at the number one spot is the masterful minister of misdirection himself, Sepitar, with one of the most unique shots that you will ever see in pickleball. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, unbelievable play by Sepitar there. I thought he had no shot. He goes with the inside out backhand Ernie angle winner into the fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, and see ya!